Hey guys, Season Salt here with a tutorial video on how to get your Android screen to your desktop so that way you can record and or stream whichever you decide to do. Um, so this video is going to cover just how to get your Android screen to your desktop. In the next video that I'll be doing probably sometime early next week, we'll be covering on how to crop the video, how to shape it in order to broadcast to Twitch and for those of you who have not had a chance to use OBS which is a software that I use it is free uh, we'll be running through all of that but nonetheless let's get started so as you can see here I already have my Android device showing up on my screen so what you're gonna do as a new user you're gonna go into your Play Store and you are gonna download this application Obizen there's two app there are two applications there's one for all android devices and then there is this second one here as you see Moby Zen for Samsung if you have a Samsung device do not ask questions just download the Moby Zen for Samsung all our all other android devices will download the first uh, option there which is the regular Moby Zen so once you have it installed we'll open it and I already have it all set up here you're gonna go to connection method settings so once you click that here you'll see there's gonna be a series of options so obviously you don't want to connect you know if for those a lot of you do not have unlimited data so you're gonna have that disabled there is a UB, uh, USB connection here um, this is only really recommended if your device is at a hundred percent um, because as many people don't have uh, USB 3.0 chargers on their laptops and or PCs so your phone will not hold its charge as you plug it into your computer it will die there's just only so much you can squeeze out of it and your phone your battery will eventually uh, drain out so the way I'm doing it here is I have my phone connected to a wall uh, outlet and I have this here selected Wi-Fi connection Wi-Fi connection enables you to connect via wireless access point both PC and mobile should be connected within the same network to enjoy the faster MobiZen. now they tell you that a UB, uh, USB connection is the fastest way that you can connect it is the fastest in that there's literally zero delay the Wi-Fi connection will give you less than half a second delay it really is not an issue so really I suggest you using the Wi-Fi connection to connect uh, to MobyZen. That being said, you do need an account to use MobyZen. So what I'm going to do is take you over to my desktop screen here on my computer, and there we go. You're going to go to www.mobyzen.com, and it will bring you to this website right here. This is what the application on your computer is going to look like. You're going to want to download the MobyZen PC application here and it's going to install and you'll see this icon on your desktop now once you click it it'll open up this exact same interface you're going to type in your email and the password that you've associated with your device and then you're going to hit connect so go back here there we go once you hit connect it'll show you that it'll bring you to your android screen and there you go the application has full portrait and landscape function so if I'm tilting my phone here you'll see it'll tilt and go up so that is how Android users can capture their screen onto their desktop like I said in the next video I'll be covering um, how to get that sent if you are a Twitch streamer like I am, how to col uh, capture that screen and put it on OBS so you can either A, record your video game footage or B, stream live with your video game footage. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, the button is below, and I hope to see you guys for the next video.